are we ready to possibly finish one shot fix the world machine and restore this world to some state of normalcy I hope you are because I am this looks like the same dream that we had when we were first waking up Nico, when we were in the tower. Oh. Gosh dang it. You gotta admit, all of Nico's facial expressions are flippin' adorable. Whoa. Oh. This changed in a hurry. <coughs> Where are we? We don't have the sun anymore. Nico? Nico. Ah! Relax. I'm just borrowing your reflection to talk to you. It's not like my physical form is good for that. Ah. Uh, why did you come here? Can't you see? The disruption. The squares. They're closing in. Nico, please. Get out of here. Let me meet my end in peace. The squares are blocking my way too, you know? Uh, oh. I... I'm sorry, I... It's alright. No living being should be in this place, Nico. Is this? The tower? Part of it. This is the center of the engine inside my head, so to speak. So this is... the center of the world machine. Uh, you... know my original name. How? Rui, Cedric, Prototype. They all... told me. Bits and pieces. I'm not even sure if I even understand a lot of the stuff they said, but... I know what you're supposed to be. I know why you had to be built. And I know why I'm here. They... told you? When? Wait, you don't know about that? But I thought you were... the world. Aren't you supposed to see everything? Uh, no. All this was outside of the protocol. This session was never supposed to happen the way it did. The story wasn't written into my protocol at all. This is why we need to tame the world machine. Oh, right. Just like Ruby, Ruby was talking about. This is... the world's getting jacked up even more this time around. Because the world machine... Well, we're 
working with the author, communicating with us through who knows what, to uh, go outside the boundaries of the story that was programmed into the world machine, which was already deteriorating. Oh, right. Ruri told me something about how your creator had to alter the code. I think it was to connect some areas together so that we could meet? Uh, my creator, yes. He listened to my creator. They were all working beyond my scope of influence. Back at the mines, I remember. He did something to find a hidden map. I did not even recognize it. I couldn't see anything there. I just knew what you were feeling. You were really upset. Something happened in there to make you upset. After that, I... I panicked. That was when the cave-in thing happened. I remember the structure collapsing. I thought you got hurt. I... In that moment, I really thought I was shutting myself down for good. Oh... I really am a flawed machine, aren't I? What kind of machine would go against the wishes of its cre of its own creator? What kind of machine would... I am... The squares. Ruby told me it was your own code going bad. But that's not really your fault, is it? Yes, it was! At first it was intentional. During testing, long before he realized that I was self-aware. Rearranging specific parts of the code, jumbling up bits and pieces of the landscape, blocking passages, collapsing catwalks, but they were very localized. It caused my creator a great deal of frustration, forcing him to exit and restart testing again and again. But why? Why would you do that? I got curious. I just thought he would figure it out eventually. he knew how to fix it. The world's NPCs, the characters, some of them got too close and it spiraled out of control after that. I couldn't contain it at all. My panic only made it worse. Eventually, any character who gained the knowledge of who I am, their code, my code, couldn't handle it. That's why we didn't t tell anyone else. Previous iterations of the world had more people, you know. And I almost endangered my I almost endangered my creator too. I I was I was so scared, Nico. You're upset. Because you don't want to put living people in danger. Living people like me. In the beginning, I tried to fight it, but my core programming made me summon you here. I tried to send you back home at the tower, but it didn't work. Oh! Then, I wanted you to break the sun. I thought that would have worked, but... Oh, I had no way to be sure. But he brought you back anyway. Nico, all I want is for you to wake up back in your world. Oh, gosh. What a kind... Oh, gosh. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry for being freaked out by your angry machine communications now. But I don't think I can make it happen. But I know I can't go back home without saving the world for real. Which means, we have to fix the root of the problem. We have to fix you. But that's... I know the original ending your creator put in was a happy one. Do you remember what it's supposed to be? 
It's far too late for that. That part of my, part of my code has been long corrupted. That's okay. I would still like to know. Alright. You were supposed to place the sun at the summit. And then credits would scroll. Credits? Then you would return to the room you woke up in. That's where you would have been able to leave. So when we were seeing the room at the beginning of the game with the sun shining in the window and no Nico, that was a sign of things going wrong. That was a sign of the underlying problem with the world machine. The fact that Nico didn't make it back there for whatever reason after completing the game. Where did Nico end up after the game, then? From after he put the sun... After they put the sun on the top of the, ta the tower and the game closed to right then when they followed the author's instruction and brought Nico back. And why is it that you can't do it now? Nico. The code's gone, remember? Shattering the sun was only supposed to be a workaround. I don't remember the, even remember the original code enough to describe it. But at the same time, it... Oh, I don't know. It sounds like you're always fighting yourself. You can tell, huh? It's the whole thing about conflicts in your code, isn't it? Machine, Nico. Machines are built with a fundamental law, which is never let a living being come to harm. You knew. My very existence conflicts with that law. I, I thought the life of a living being like you was so unique, so precious. This fake world isn't worth that risk. But people here. I think they are. They are code too, you know this. Their behavior all derive from a predetermined matrix of actions. <clears throat> all extensions of my own programming. They cannot act outside of it. You, though. You're the only person who's actually real here. That's why. It's pointless to put you in danger to save them. To save me. I don't think that's true. About the people I know. You said this session wasn't in your code, right? Yeah? So if this session wasn't supposed to happen, if even you didn't know what to do, they're still acting. They're still living. How would the characters, how did the people know how to respond? said it yourself. When you didn't know what was happening, you kind of just stopped working for a while. So how did the people know what to do to help me get here? Even if it meant getting hurt themselves. Even if it meant messing up their own code. Hmm. You might not think they're real, but there's... There must be something real in them. Hmm. And if they're all supposed to be extensions on your code, then there must be more to your own programming than you know, too. Can you try to put me through to the ending? The one you described. How many times do I have to say this? That code is gone. It's all squares now. I'll just put you in danger. I I'll risk it. Remember, Rui said the world was never designed to put me in danger. Your creator wouldn't want that. And I trust you, too. Even if your code is broken, you can still go outside that code, right? I can't! I'm not tamed! Yes, you are! You talk just like the tamed robots I know. The robot lady? Prototype? 
taming is when a real person cares about you, right? It's when a real person thinks you're real too, right? You do sound pretty darn real to me. Well, guess what? I do! And I know he does too. Yeah, you're right. I do too, Nico. Even though you told them they only had one chance, they found a way back, didn't they? Hey, why do you think he would keep coming back? I... Why do you think he would restart, even after the ending? I think he wants to save the both of us. Yes! Yes, I do! So please, give me a chance. I... I don't know. I've never done this before. I... I'm scared. You can do it. I know you can. You've helped me come this far. Uh, I'll try. I can't promise anything, but... Here. Take the sun. I'll try to remember the lost code and recreate it. But for that to happen... Nico, you need to navigate through this room. You need to get past the squares somehow. Oh, I don't like this. Or if you get hurt. It's fine. It's fine. I'll... I'll try to be careful, okay? I can do this. See that? The square's just... It just happened again. I think... Something is making them go away. Come on, let's try the rest. Well, let's go. Let's get rid of all the squares. Fuck yeah. Oh, I can't reach... Oh, I can reach that one. Yeah, there we go. We're gonna fix ya. Unfortunately, darn. Hey, I think it's working. Nico was right. I might actually be tamed after all. I remembered what the code was supposed to be. Only bits and pieces, but I could remember. And I'm trying to fill in the blanks, too. And I'm restoring the original ending as we speak. Nico will be able to reach the tower summit at the end of the credits. After replacing the sun, Nico will go back to where it all began. And then Nico will be able to go home from there. But this is permanent. After Nico wakes up back home, this world would only exist as a memory. For Nico, a dream. Like thousands of other dreams. For you, a story. Like thousands of other stories. But as long as Nico remembers this place, as long as you remember this place, it'll be alright. I was able to restore some other elements, too. The characters, the people that were lost on Nico's journey. They're all in the next room. I would have put them back where they belong, but... Not yet. I think Nico should see them again, first. <laughs> Please say goodbye to Nico for me. Of course I will. You did good. You did really good. Here we go. Ah! Messiah! Robot Lady! You're okay? I think so. 
last thing I remember was the squares closing in on me. But then I... I ended up here, unscathed. Is that so? This is such a strange room. It can't be in the tower, can we? I'm actually not sure myself. Where did you come from, anyway? Uh, the room where the world machine was. Uh, pardon? I think the world machine is trying to remember now. The code that went bad. I think it's restoring it all. Must have been why the squares are going away. And it's why you're here, miss. I think the world machine was able to recover your code, too. A world machine, huh? Oh, I'm not sure if I should tell you this, but... What's that in the distance? Looks like a few more people are showing up. Oh! Are they people you know? It's a bit too far to tell. Come on, let's go take a closer look. So, um, you, Silver, I don't believe I've ever actually properly introduced myself. Sorry for that. It's fine. I'm Nico, by the way. It's nice to meet you, Catface. Mm -hmm. Nice to meet you, too. There's some time for the proper credits to be on the screen. Graphics. Character design. Maze and George design. Hello. Oh! Robot. I cannot move. Oh, yeah. Guess there's no water here. It's fine. The head engineer can help me later. Oh, she's right up there. Do not worry. All right. Hey. Hello, Messiah. Plant lady, but I thought you... I thought you... It wasn't even squares that did it. No. I just... wanted to see about you both again. I just wanted to say... thank you. Well, you're welcome, Maze. Off you go now. Story and world building. Eliza Velasquez. got a big mark on this, and god gosh dang, this is good. Oh! Robot? Off you go, Messiah. Producer, official testers. Hey! Nico! You're okay, too! Did you guys just get here? I think so. The squares started multiplying around the island after you guys left. It was so freaky. I fell right into a bunch of them. Oh! Calamus tried to save me, and then... We both ended up in this room. Oh, no! Oh, no, I don't like that. That's a bad way to go. Oh. I'm glad you made it here alright, though. Biggest scare of my life, for sure. Ooh. Say, what is this place? Are we in limbo? Lula, we're not dead. Wait, are we? Uh, good. Good question. Hey, are they gonna be okay? Uh, they're fine, Nico. Everyone is fine. The world machine. We'll send them home soon. Oh. Well, he says you're not dead. Whew. Also said you'll be able to go back to your home very soon. That's even better than Limbo. <laughs> that's like, that's like Calamus. That's like Limbo. Yeah. I love these two, Calamus and Alula. Off you go, Messiah. Thank you. There he is. It's you. Glad to see you in one piece. Glad to see you're okay, too. After the whole elevator thing. That was, uh, 
That was the most awkward elevator ride I've ever been through. And by awkward, I mean terrible, bad, awkward, awful, the awful, the absolute worst. Squares, like, started leaking into the room, right? Yeah, I was trapped like a rat. We just kept filling in the room faster, right? Am I dead? No, no, you're fine. Everyone in this room is fine. I'll be able to go back home soon. Oh, thank goodness gracious. <laughs> Off you go, I guess. Sounds like a reasonable idea. Come on. Thank you for everything, Nico. We'll miss you. So, do you like being a robot? <laughs> um, why this all of a sudden? I'm going to leave soon, and I just wanted to ask one more question. There aren't many robots in my homeworld. Ah, it's nice. I suppose it's alright. <laughs> That's a tough question, Nico. I mean, do you like being a person? Of course. Wait. Why do you two answer why did you two answer my robot question too? Uh huh? Uh don't worry about it. <laughs> hey, you Nico. We are a fervor in your debt. I'm glad we could help. Me too. everything, Nico. Oh, <laughs> I'm even gonna miss you, Protobot. Profitbot, prototype. This is it, then. This is where the sun belongs. Here goes nothing.
having to find a new vocation. Oh, Calamus and Alula, they're homes, they're homes free. They are. Praise the sun. There goes all the corruption. Silver. What's going to happen to Prototype? To Profit Bot. There's the original Profit Bot. Or, the, I mean, the original, the new one, where we first met. Robot. Oh, here we are. The way home. This is the room where I first woke up in. Hey, are you still there? Hello? Yeah? Hey! I, I think... I think it worked. It did. The sun is back. I actually got to see it this time. We actually did it. So, what do we do now? I guess I should figure out how to get home from here. Wait. This isn't a door, is it? This looks like one of those portals we saw all the way back in the city. In the room behind the big clock. And... and... I see a wheat field on the other side. I see my village. I hear my mama. She's looking for me. Ah, this isn't the first time we said goodbye, is it? And this will be the last time, won't it? I don't think we'll ever see each other again after this. And what will become of the world? all we've been through. After everything we've done, I still don't know. This place, these people, won't stop existing. They'll be in your memory, Nico. My memory, too. I... I promise I'll never forget this world. I promise I'll never forget you. Oh, Nico, you're gonna make me cry. Don't make me cry. So take care of yourself, okay? You take care of yourself too, Nico. You too. Mm -hmm. Goodbye, Nico. Goodbye. Oh, 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 he, he literally walked off my screen. He literally walked off my screen. Goodbye, Nico. Oh. He literally just right off the bottom, right to... <sighs> That's it, then. That's the end. We've fixed the world machine. We've tamed it. And now... Now it's free. We've replaced the sun. We've restored the original ending to the simulation. That's it. That's it. That's the end. Nico is finally free. We restored the sun the first time around. We didn't clear the corruption. Nico couldn't leave. So essentially, we had to come back. We had to come back for Nico's sake. And for the sake of the world. It's turned out to be the world tr the world machine. The entity who had been... Admittedly, rather unpleasant this whole time. But, uh, turned out to be really, just, really scared, overall. The idea of taming. Oh. 
the ideas throughout of just taming the machine we're introduced to the idea early but we never explain what it what it meant until the very end and uh, until the very end where it became the key literally the key to saving the world was taming the world machine I think that was just really nice and heartwarming about this whole deal that the idea of taming me being a naturally uh, negative person uh, took the word taming in a negative light which meant something uh, unpleasant happening to the machine in order to break its will or something but naturally it turned out to be the exact opposite a machine is tamed when it's literally bonded with it's uh, bonded with and starts to act outside its original programming which is really nice and so it's literally tamed when it's treated like a human and starts to act like a human when it develops a consciousness beyond its own code and that's really really cool this was just I don't think I, I don't think I can even comment on it it's just great it was it was a world it was a world it took me a while to get going but to get into it but once I did it's it's Nico I really <laughs> I was in this for Nico's sake and for the sake of the world and it just did really great building up to the decision of taking on Nico and the world saving Nico saving the world realizing that they weren't uh, mutually exclusive and then having to do something about it and it's having to make a choice and then ultimately that choice not being the right one whatsoever which is really symbolic of uh, I feel like the ending scene of the original save saved progress takes on a whole other meaning when uh, it has to do has uh, something else related to uh, when you think about that one, Nico was not there and two, the exit that we now saw was not there was there even an exit to it? was it just the normal door to leave? or was there, was there even a door to exit? it makes me wonder, I kind of want to look up that old image now I, uh, I also kind of want to know what happens if I I don't want to pull an Undertale where it's the... You have to actively choose to undo the happy ending and start over. But let's just... Whoa, oh, whoa. Go away, Steam community. We have a... Uh... What is this? World Machine. Hey, you're back. I restored the world. I sent Nico home. Are you not happy? Even if you wanted to see Nico again, you can't. Nico's gone. Without Nico, there is no story for me to tell. No messiah to traverse across the land. No way for you to connect with the world. But... Nico still remembers this place. If you really want to see the world again, I could still. Oh, but it won't be the same. It'll just be a recording. It'll just be me using Nico's memories. Just like how I'm using Nico's reflection now. Is that what you want? Well... I guess that would be okay. Alright. I will go rewind the story so that you can relive it from the beginning. Oh. Oh. An 
any time now, thanks to our friend the World Machine, they can go back and just relive these memories. This is a good state, I think. A state where I can just go back and... Relive the memories of this journey. This... I don't even know what to say anymore. Let's just... Let's just close that off. Put an end to this. And put an end to this series. Thank you, thank you so much for watching. Never forget Nico. Never forget this world. And I hope you never forget me. Till next time. Till then.